In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the mask tool to move through a sentence with color. So there you can see it's saying she sells seashells on the seashore, but I'm moving through with color. All right, I have Vegas Pro open. This is version 21, but you can do the same method for even much older versions of Vegas. So I need to insert a video track and then immediately I'm gonna insert a second video track. Now I'll need to insert some text. So I'm gonna say a text file. So I'm gonna paste in that she sells seashells by the seashore. So there it is pasted in. And what I'm going to do now is just resize it so it's suitable. It's currently too big. So I'm just going to resize it. You can uh, resize it either just using the size of the font, for example. Okay, so I've made it bold and I'm just going to make it the maximum size and I'll just put it a little bit lower. All right, so I've got the text, it's white on black and there it is in the bottom video track. Now what I do is I copy that exact same video track. So I say copy or control C and then I just paste it control V. Notice it says create a new copy so I can paste it into the track above. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this in a different color. So let's use a bright color. Let's use the yellow. I'm just going to use the dropper and put it there. All right. Now remember that the media in the top track takes precedence. So if I reduce the opacity then we can see what's in the lower track. So at the moment it's the top track that is taking precedence so obviously if i remove the top track there we can see the what's below it so what i need to do now is to set keyframes and masks so that it goes one word highlighted one by one so say for example i want each word to be highlighted every 0.5 seconds so i'm just going to right click on the time format on the time scale here i'm just going to put it in seconds so there we see it's in seconds just for now and i'm going to go to 0.5 of a second now we can see that this time base matches this time base and the reason it does that is because this is selected so watch the time base in this window the video fx window notice that as i move it it is synchronized to the main time base so if this ch is not checked this says sync cursor then if you move this around you it will not sync with this so we need to synchronize it and as i said we want to go at 0.5 of a second so there we go we're going to 0.5 and there we see right so that will be my first keyframe so i can insert my first keyframe here and there it is first keyframe but I want to mask it so I'm going to select the mask and now I'm going to use the rectangle square mask or you can use the round one whatever is suitable for you so there I've masked the word she now I want to have the word cells at one second so I want to go from she to cells so I'm going to click on the uh, main time base or you can do the uh, the time base over here. It doesn't matter because you can synchronize it. And then I notice there is uh, almost one second. So that's fine. I'm going to put my keyframe and there's my keyframe. And now I'm going to mask it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first delete this one and now mask cells. Now, this is incredibly important because if you don't delete it, it will move from she to cells. But we don't want to do that. We want it to be discrete, like she, on, then off, cells, on. So we don't want it to do this, she, cells. But if you wanted to do that, I will show you how to do that in a second. So I'm just showing you the discrete way first. So let's just have a quick look at what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate. I say play, it's starting at she, and then at 0.5, it went to cells. So we can see the first part is correct. Now, if you wanted it to go as a smooth transition, not in a discrete manner, then let's say at 1.5. So I'm going to move the cursor here to 1.5. I can just verify it there, 1.5, right. And I'm gonna do another keyframe. Now, if I go like that, just going to resize this quickly now note what happens so i'm going to play it from here note how it's discrete that's how it was and then for the next keyframe notice how it's moving from the cells to the word c look at that so if you don't want that then 
at that keyframe rather just press delete and then make a brand new mask over the word so there we go c so i'll demonstrate how that looks so there it goes she at one second cells at 1.5 c and you can just keep on doing this If you're finding it's quite difficult to get the mask, just zoom in nicely and you can just use the grab to move this. So now we can work nice and clearly. I'm just going to select it until I've got it. Delete. Right now I can go here and insert a new one. And let's go at 3.5 and just put another one. Now notice what I did. I never deleted the one before. So look what it's going to look like. It's going to go C sure notice they both stay on because i never deleted it so i'm just showing you how you solve if you have any problems all right so just having a look at it in action there's she sells seashells by the seashore all right so here's just another example if you want to just highlight letter by letter so there it's going a then it's going b c d i'll quickly just show you what that looks like in the editing side so there is the main track so there were all the letters a a to z and then I duplicated it there in the top track. So if I just show you the top track, notice I changed the color because that's the color that I wanted to overlay. I want to overlay the white with red. All right, so I have the video FX window open and I'm just showing you there you can see how it's scrolling through and this is in the video FX window. Notice all the keyframes and as I scroll through and each one of these is a discrete mask. So therefore it's the one and then it goes off and then there goes the other. All right, so thanks for watching and cheers.